Welcome to the Spiritwell Spotlight, featuring Dibs the Dreamer from Waystone's new game, Dawngate. Hailing from the Kula Heli Tangle, Dibs makes for a strong lane partner with lots of harass, quick dirty ganks, and brings great utility to team fights and chasing. Passives in Dawngate describe your energy system. Dibs features the passive Pure Shaper. This allows for Dibs to freely cast his abilities at no extra cost, only being limited by his cooldowns. This allows for you to bring excellent harass to lane with his first ability, Nightmare. Nightmare is a great ability that I find myself grabbing and maxing first. It's a decently ranged, spammable AoE with good damage and a nice power ratio. When an enemy is hit by Nightmare, they're hit with damage as well as cursed with bad dreams which can be stacked on them. When an ally shaper that isn't you damages a target with bad dreams, it deals additional magic damage for each stack you've put on them. Dib's second ability, Dream Wrap, is a shield that also provides a move speed boost. Dream Wrap can be cast two more times after first using it, allowing you to either stack the shield on someone or help give a small shield and a move speed boost to multiple allies. This is great for chasing, as well as helping to mitigate damage to you or your lane partner. Ripple is Dib's third ability, allowing him to slow and do a chunk of magic damage to the first enemy shaper he casts it on. In addition, it also knocks away any nearby enemy units to that target. Dibs can also use Ripple on an ally to help knock back anyone approaching them. Using this in a chase is a wonderful way to help catch enemies or use it while being chased to help get away. Dibs ultimate, Reverie, allows him to unleash the power of his dreams, granting him beautiful wings as well as additional power to himself and all nearby allies. Recasting this ability again within 10 seconds allows for him to take flight to anywhere on the map. Now, to briefly touch on items, roles, and loadouts, for my role I've been going Tactician for a more traditional sit and farm lane, but when playing a more kill oriented lane, I've been grabbing Predator for lane kills and cross map ganks at level 6. For my loadout, I've been taking Brawler when going Tactician to stay in lane longer with health, and taking Power for increased damage when going kill oriented. Itemizing? I find starting Life, 2-Pot, to be the most consistent start, but going Power or Hunger early is quite viable as well. With Life, I rush Stamina to help myself tank up as well as helping my allies gain some resists for team fighting. For damage items, I typically go Insight, primarily for faster cooldowns, but as well for getting increased range and a snare, which is useful for stopping escaping enemies. Next, I might pick up an item like Inevitability to get more health, power, and gaining slows on both my spells and auto attacks for more CC. Then depending on the situation, I either go Destruction for straight power, Chaos for more haste and chain lightning, or Rebirth for health and kiting. Almost any item can work on dibs, but I've been enjoying a CC oriented damage build to help my team in securing kills. Now let's take a look at a couple different situations. Noticing no one on the minimap, I pop my ult and fly to their spirit well in hopes to ninja cap it. I start killing the workers just to get some gold while I cap it. At that point, I notice that their team is collapsing on me. I start falling back to my team, at which point we can get into a better position to fight them. Cerulean and I start chasing them, and when Cerulean goes in for the dunks, I follow up with my abilities securing kills and for us, an easy spirit well capture. Next up, a fight's already broken out, and I pop Ripple on Fenmore to slow, as well as to damage. Changing to Desecrator, I throw out Nightmare and hit him. Once Michaela pops my stack, it secures my second kill. Going a little deep here, chasing Zeri, I get baited by a heal and blinded by greed, and I overextend for my triple kill. Worth it. In this situation, we're being attacked in lane, but seeing there's an opportunity, me and Michaela 360 no scope onto Fenmore, I go with Nightmare, she hits some coins, and with a basic attack, First Blood is safely secured by me. In this last clip, I see a fight breaking out and pop my ult to quickly get in and help my team. Missing Nightmare like a pro, I pop shield to help me get to a better position. With Michaela and Cerulean dunking, we proceed forwards. Seeing two in the lane, we come out through the bush and manage to catch Zeri. Using my ripple, I manage to hit her with Nightmare and pick up the kill. Next, we aim at Desecrator. I backing up since my team's in a fine position. Now we go for Michaela. Not being able to get the kill, we go for the binding. Thanks for tuning in to the Spirit Wall Spotlight on Dibs the Dreamer. Your team is victorious. Yeah.